Thank you, President, Commissioners, dear colleagues. To be a credible partner and to act as a global player, the EU needs to speak with one voice. President Obama and his administration have rightfully made this known, and we need to be able and honest to criticize each other like that. In sh and this is necessary to ensure a credible transatlantic relation characterized by complementarity and coordination. How can we work together on defending human rights, the rule of law and democracy in this world, when Hillary Clinton gives a speech with a vision for global internet freedom, while the US is insisting on keeping the negotiations on ACTA intransparently, which lead to tremendous concern about internet freedom. This is contradictory and undermines our credibility. And why do we have to learn through leaked documents that torture was inflicted and condoned in Iraq? We call for an independent inquiry. And why couldn't the European Commission answer my question about requests made by the US administration with regard to criminal measures vis-a-vis -vis WikiLeaks? Does it consider the transatlantic relation more important than questions from MEPs? And why does the U.S. push European companies to take sanctions beyond those taken by the EU regarding Iran? The U.S. should respect the EU's independence and its complementary role. Both the EU and the U.S. have to work transparently, respect each other's independence, and allow for democratic scrutiny on our actions. Isn't that what distinguishes us, the U.S. and the EU, from others, most notably with regard to fundamental freedoms and human rights? Η κυρία Λίχτεμπεργκερ για ένα λεπτό. Οι κολλήγινες και κολλήγες, στον τρανσατλαντικό διαλόγο υπάρχει πολλές φίλες που μας συμφωνούν. Αυτές είναι γραμματικά, 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 γραμματικά. Υπάρχει όμως και κάτι που μας συμφωνούν, όπως η ανάπτυξη 